And now we come to home slaughtering number four. Now I will start cutting the piece of meat apart. So now I will cut it the way I would cut it, not how they do it in America. Since the meat starts here, so I go there and cut it off there. I don't want to make my dog knife dog, so I use the saw. And I put that on the side. Then I uh, use trim it a little bit. This fat got to come off because there's no use for it on this. That goes in the lock part. Then you go from here and cut a piece off. I don't know how good I did. I want to show the other side. Yes. All the, the tits should be off from there. I don't want them on the bacon. And now we cut the back off. But that's not your choice. I'm 
sorry, now I know. Hey. Those are now my pork rolls. This is uh, from the bottom piece. When you buy them in the store, there's always that much longer and they have the bone from the hindquarter, from the ham in it. They're nice pork chops or pork rolls. This is also nice rolls. This is actually the center cut. To me, this is the best pork chop you can buy. And this is the neck. For me, this is also a good pork chop. We uh, normally what we do, what I will do, maybe I should do it, I cut the bone out. And then uh, can I have it boneless. And uh, uh, I don't know if you know or not, when you come to the front, there's obviously a bigger bone, you have to go around it. Like this. And now you have a nice soup bone. And now you could cut a knife just like this. There is the cartilage from the shoulder in. I leave it in, otherwise you cut more meat out. Or you can also make a nice roast out of it. But when I look at my uh, cut, I almost split them right in the middle. I did very good yesterday. I got a back about myself. But now with the other side of the loin, I want to do it a little different. For the neck, I leave the bone in. Makes it very, very good pork rolls. That's a pork rolls. Oh, I got to cut my glands off. I want to eat that later on. The neck. And now I take the filet out. Now I got it for the right side. Nothing to it, just cut it along the bone. And maybe I should show you right away what I do with it. The filet looks good. They have a lot of fat on there, you just pull it off. And there's obviously a piece of meat along here. I have it already on here. I cut that off too, that doesn't belong on there. Nice pick. We go back to the ribs. 
And now if you see how much meat I got there, if you're a rib man, you like your ribs, you would go along this and cut the ribs off like this.
Now, uh, I don't know how familiar you are with skin, uh, taking the skin off. You could take the skin off like it is, but if you make sausage, I will make one piece on me. And the fat I leave on them if I make uh, like a raw sausage or something like that. And you have to go in and cut the skin off. Boy, that was too much skin and too much meat on the skin. Nah. There we go. Of course, we do something with the skin too. There's some reason for everything, but that's why you took, take the skin off all of it. I don't want to quit on that. Now I want to take a hand water. Or a ham. Uh, I turn it around. Which way can you see better? The, you cut the foot off above the knuckle here, the elbow, what do you call it? The knee? Or whatever you want to call it. Of the knife, 
So you have to sharpen it. You can go like this. It works pretty good. But the best is the ceramic steel. The ceramic. Just like this. And then we cut like a brand new knife. Now I want to cut the bone out here, going back to the ball joint. This is the ball joint that will look. There's the tenons right on top. I said before you got to cut that, otherwise you never keep cutting. You never get it apart. Now I go and cut close to the bone with short, knife, short uh, cuts or uh, shallow cuts. Now I have here a ham hanging, 
I smoked a while ago. And if you look, this piece is here much shorter because they cut it off and leave it on the fork loin. That's why it's shorter. This was smoked about two weeks ago and hanging two weeks out there, pretty dry. If you're German, if you like raw, raw ham, delicious. You never find anything like that anywhere else. I just had a friend, he, uh, I butchered his uh, deer in the fall and he, I made him some sausage and he wanted more sausage. And I, I had two of those and I cut a piece off and let him taste one. He said, something like that you find nowhere, not even in Germany. I just decided we want to look what it looks like. Delicious. Now, we turn the machine off and we slice a few pieces. Now I put that piece on my slicer. I have a commercial slicer tiny ready. And I just cut a real thin. And uh, we eat that normally like this. We can cut it real thin or cut it a little heavier. That's your choice. And normally it goes on the sandwich. And uh, you can add a little pepper on this A1. You also, what, what our favorite is, I take some uh, camembert cheese on the, on the bread and this on top. Or forget the bread. Use the camembert and the meat. A1. This is the other loin, what I would do with it. I cut this part off. So I prepare it for later on to do anything with it. Not on the uh, pork chops. <coughs> now I, this is the kind of a lot of tenants in. If you make a loin out of it or a smoked loin out of it, you don't want that on there. And this side, uh, I leave that on. Now I, I just change my mind. I will cut it in half. And this I freeze for cutting pork chops or anything. And this one, I want to uh, prepare to make a smoked loin out of it. In Germany they call it Lachschinken. Lachschinken is uh, pork loin. Actually cut this in half, really small, fat around, uh, some kind of uh, uh, skin around and then roll it up. We only made that for Christmas all the time. So to do that, you got to take this, look just like I did from the deer, got to take the tenants off. Normally we... If you do nothing else with the meat, this is kind of wasted. Or you can put it in goulash, because the goulash cooks so long there will be nothing left. If you uh, make liver sausage, blood sausage, good place for that. Raw sausage is a no-no. I want to finish this though. Now this meat, I want to make a, a lax chicken out of it. I probably make four out of it because it was like this and like this, these small ones. The important thing is though, there can be no tennis, no nothing on. They got to be complete lean because you will eat it raw. And we put that in the freezer and later on when we do a venison loin and then we make this with as a pork loin. Now the next is the back, the fat. I want to show what I want to do with this. This one, I cut a piece out of it. I will salt that and cure it. I want to cut a little of the lean meat off it yet. Because I need the fat later on for the lax schinken. And uh, so I don't have to use something else. I don't have to substitute. When you buy pork meat in a store, you barely find uh, fat a little heavier. This is a little heavier, not much, but a little bit better. And the rest I just take the, the lean meat off and f uh, take the skin off and freeze it for sausage making. Now we have only one left, the other one we ate yesterday.
So you could do the same thing, just cut it like this and freeze it for next breakfast or so. Or you can cut it and cut this, take the skin off and use it for breakfast sausage or any other sausage. Could be liver sausage, blood sausage, bologna, anything you make, you can put this in. Now we have uh, the lip, the lip tips, on the front of the lip part. They call it heavy lip cut. What I do with this, I cut it nice, cut the skin off. Oh no, I changed my mind. I will freeze it just like this. And when the time comes, uh, I will stuff it with uh, pheasant meat or with uh, with the be uh, venison meat. I don't know if it will smoke it or not. You can cure it, smoke it, and then cook it. Just like a pork belly. What we often do, we take a pork belly, cut a, a smoke it, cut a pocket in, and put a filling in of any other wild game meat. Now I like to show very the last thing for today. What do I do with the height with the heads? Normally, when you buy a pork head, they come together. Okay, what I do then, I don't know if I can do it with this. Normally, I cut the skin off first. So, once I have this piece cut like this, then you have, see all this meat on there? You cook it like it is. What I don't normally do, liver sausage or blood sausage, nothing else. Otherwise you have, or you can uh, cook it and make kind of a uh, head cheese or so out of it. <coughs> That's about my head. Now I want to uh, pull the lips out of a bacon or a pork belly, the way we used to do it in Germany. Over here, they always cut the lips off and sell their lips separate. In Germany, we pull the lips out, the lips stay on a piece of meat. But we now have a piece of bacon here. What I do first, on each one, I got to cut on top of the ribs, like this. And then I, I got to try to hit the top, there that came off. There that came off. Now, I hope you forgive me, I haven't done that for about 45 years. So it's been a while. There's another one. something from it. I hope you liked watching it. 
I hope you watch all my other movies on YouTube and if you like it, subscribe. Have a good evening.